Hi everybody, it's Graham from ZTech Inside. I've just got a quick video to show you how to import the CAD model from Forza Motorsport 7 of the Magal EcoBoost. Um, I've been after that model for a very, very long time because I've been playing with Fusion for about three years now. Um, uh, and in Fusion, there's forms and various different ways of modeling, but I've had a play, I can't physically draw the bodywork. Uh, obviously anywhere near as accurately as the original CAD data um, and I did contact Miguel when I first got the car and I said is the is the um, CAD data available and um, they went no okay fair enough um, I contacted Ford to see if they had any CAD data uh, and we were also looking at the for the road going version of the Miguel the one that you see Chris Harris driving on uh, YouTube there's fenders mudguards uh, lights on it and various other bits and pieces and I just wondered if they got the CAD data for those components and they went no. So, okay. So, um, last year, um, uh, a student at Oxford Brooks University um, did his um, uh, dissertation basically on, on my car, uh, looking at the aero, where we could try and make gains. Um, and we were progressing really well with the, with the modelling. He was basically starting with a bluff model and he drew what he could get as close as he could get to the EcoBoost shape uh, and it went through and it the CFD looks great um, and uh, we were making changes to the car then I had my accident and that will kind of stop the development from going any further but he's since gone on to finish his paper uh, and he's got some more ideas for things I need to change on the car but I felt a bit like I let him down because I couldn't provide him with the CAD data um, so I've had Forza Motorsport 7 on the Xbox One for for many years um, simply because I bought it because it has got the Formula Ford 200 as a car that you can drive and change the livery on so I knew the CAD data was in that game and I spent a lot of time uh, at the beginning of December before Christmas when I got some time off just researching how can I get that data and it was pushing me down the path of taking the hard drive out of the Xbox One S and then um, slaving it on a PC and getting hold of the data that way but the Xbox One S is quite clever in the way that it encrypts volumes they've got NTFS permissions on them it's not as straightforward as plugging it into a computer and reading it so um, I, I stuck I will stop reading and um, then I came across a chap on Facebook who got a Mark 1 Fiesta that he'd managed to extract from Forza a guy called Ben and we got chatting and he was having to run Python and various other JavaScripts to convert the files from an old version of Forza and we got chatting um, and he said, basically, I'm looking for a .carbin file. So I thought, well, he must, he must be able to get hold of it. So I did a bit of research, and there's, um, there's a, a group of people that repack games. So you can get Forza Motorsport 7 that's been repacked. Uh, and what that means is it takes up less disk space than the original setup. And it also includes all the downloadable content. So I managed to find a copy uh, and extracted it. And lo and behold, I ended up with... Um, a full directory of all 838, I think it is, DLC car models. One of which was the Formula Ford. Um, so if you look on the screen now, you can see what I've got here is a Forza Motorsport 7 folder um, from all of the installed files and all of the manufacturers' uh, file names begin the, um, begin the file names at Alpha, Romeo, Audi, BMW. Well, what we're looking for is the Ford. Formula 4, there it is. Ford, Formula Ford 13. And if you double click on that file and expand it, you'll see in there is a carbon file. This is the file that describes to Forza Motorsport 7 how that car is constructed from all the different components that are within this, um, this zip file. So if you unzip the file, um, to the C drive and then use a piece of software um, called 3D SIMED 3 um, which is free to download you get I think a 20 or 30 day license and then it expires but I'm running this on a virtual machine a Windows 11 virtual machine which means I can just roll it back to an earlier version which means I can keep using the software it's never going to expire but I don't need to use it much I just need to use it to import so if we click on home and we click on import and then we go to the Formula Ford 13 zip file and find the carbon file and do an open. You'll see we just click on OK, accept the defaults, and after a second, there is the model of the car. Isn't that amazing? And it's all there. You've got 
steering wheel, fire extinguisher, dashboard. You've even got all the off-road, so the road going version parts, which is the um, the mirrors and the fenders. The, um, oh God, it's incredible. So, so the next thing is how do we save it from this 3D SIMED into a format that Fusion will open while we basically go to export. Um, before we do that though we have to do a resize because this is a 100th scale. So if I change the X, Y and Z all to 100 and do an OK and then a yes. It goes a bit too large for the viewport but you can still see the model. There it is. And what we'll do now is we'll go to export. Now we can do a plug-in export which exports a single file, a single FBX file that's about 50 meg which has got all the components in it. It's quite hard to manage that way or we can do an export as uh, plug-in exporters objects and basically that will then generate an FBX file as you can see on the screen here for each component uh, from the car so I went through this I exported them all as um, individual objects okay and then the next job to do is we'll just close that down there and then go into um, fusion so I copy them onto my machine I've got two folders I've got one with all of the FBX files in it I've got one with just a single FBX file. As you can see, it's 50 megabytes in size. It's quite big. The other way to do it is like this, where you've got separate FBX files. But essentially, what we can then do is we can go into Fusion and we can open them all, and um, and uh, and that's where we are. So um, I've basically gone through and found all the different components: the wings, uh, the brake calipers, the brake disc steering column roll cage so I've gone and weeded out all of the FBX files that the ones I actually need and I've imported them all converted them from um, mesh to body uh, and that allows me to then construct a car on the screen using the uh, using fusion I mean, isn't that incredible that's just the detail on it is mind-boggling um, it's even got things like um, the alternator which is just here which is driven off the rear axle. It's got brake lines, it's got wiring, um, it's got suspension, all the clevis joints are there. It's got the front and rear wing. Um, it's got the roll cage chassis, sorry, inside the car. Um, this one I haven't fitted the steering wheel. So what I can do is I can just right click and say insert into current design. And uh, it's just appeared, just click on okay. <laughs> There's the steering wheel and the steering column. Um, we can hide things because we've added them all in individually as components by going to the browser and going to here and we'll get rid of what they call the trunk. There we go. Uh, there's the EcoBoost engine and look at the detail on that. It's got the inlet plenum, um, it's got all the chassis tubing around the engine, it's got the wiring, it's got the original air filter location up here, um, it's got the human gearbox with the pair of dampers on the back. It's even got the mechanical linkage for the gear change. It's just, it's incredible, isn't it? Um, and because it's in Fusion now as CAD, I can change the colour of things quite easily by right-clicking on them and changing the appearance. I can, I can allocate different materials to the, um, to the surfaces. Um, I've just left it as it is at the moment. You, you can still see it, it's got a lot of triangles. This is how it's made up. So it's not a super smooth body shell, but I mean, it's better than what I ended up with, starting from a bluff model. And I just wish I'd got this for. For Henry for his um, dissertation that he did because it would have made uh, would have made the CFD quite interesting to, to have a look at. Um, of course once you've got the model um, and I've added my own wheels and tyres because the model from few, from Forza doesn't come with wheels and tyres. Um, I've added my own wheels and tyres. These are 250 rears and 190 fronts on my own rims with my own wheel centres I've designed. What you can then do is you can then go into a bit more fun and then add your own aero to the car. So I've added my floor, I've got the rear wing with the uh, rear wing brackets. Um, I've got the front wing. This is the new DJ wing that they've made for me following my accident with the new front end uh, and the new um, vortex generators on the sides. Um, it's got the modifications I've made to the throat, which we've got some more changes planned for this year to make it um, work even more effectively. Um, but yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? This is just in the design mode. If I go into um, render, it gets really flash now. Um, you can edit with something that looks far more realistic. It's like it's in my garage now. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. 
detail on that is astonishing. Um, and then I can render and then I can generate um, images like this on here, which is one that I rendered earlier. It's beautiful, isn't it? So this is going to save me hours now with, with modelling and doing other parts. I can just call on the uh, on the CAD data. I've got no intent whatsoever to use any of this commercially. This is just for me, um, just to um, just just to model with, basically, just to make components for my car. I don't sell components like um, parts of my car to other EcoBoost owners. Um, what would be the point of that? So, uh, but for me, I mean, it's it's brilliant. It it, it it's um, solved a lot of uh, a lot of hassle trying to get the model. It just turns out it's all in a repack file. You download it, uninstall it, and uh, and the data's all there. And of course, you've got more than EcoBoost. You've got another 830 cars to play with and they've all got the similar levels of detail and if you expect export them into FBX format from 3D SIMED um, you'll end up with similar detail um, uh, and you can go and you can turn things on and up, hide things it just it's amazing real game changer for me yeah, I'm very very pleased with the with the result so uh, I will uh, keep making renders and having a play oh yes the other thing is um, once you've got um, the CAD model in Fusion you can then um, open it in Blender. Now Blender is much better for rendering. I haven't really had much of a play. I've only got a couple of hours um, uh, use out of it so far. Um, what we're stuck for at the moment is a uh, a UV file. Uh, what basically that means is um, if you take, for example, uh, if you examine a, a pattern to make a dress, they start off with a two-dimensional shape and then fold it and stitch it and do whatever they need to do. We're looking for a UV map for these panels so we can actually flatten them and then we can use them for designing a wrap for the car. So if you know anyone that's, um, that's got the UV files, they don't appear to be included in Forza, which is a shame. Um, but uh, if you can let me know if you know anyone that's got them, I'd be very interested because then we can have a go at designing a wrap for the car uh, and get it printed and then just wrap it straight on and it'll fit perfectly. So anyway, um, I hope you found that interesting. Thanks very much for watching. Please. Um, Please click like and subscribe and uh, I'll have some more videos coming out soon. Thank you for watching.